IAPTC was started um, 25 years ago um, by the Canadians at the Pearson Centre and it was designed to bring those involved in peacekeeping training together and to discuss the many issues that are involved. Um, it's involved, the last conference we had over 250 delegates, um, but what you have to understand is quite often a peacekeeping training centre will be the only national institution of its kind in a country. So it's an opportunity to bring together everyone involved in training or peace, um, peace operations um, to one place to discuss the many issues. So IAPTC has no formal relationship with any of the, the four regional associations, that being EAPTC, um, ABSTA, which is the African one, Alcapaz, which is the Americas, and then the Asia Pacific associations. Um, but one thing I'd like to do during my time as presidency is start to develop those relationships, start to make the connections, and so in the future we are more cohesive and more joined up as we talk about peacekeeping training in the future. Peacekeeping is becoming more and more complex. Uh, mandates are getting longer from you know, original mandates um, of one or two pages to some that are up to 20, 18 pages long. So that was one of our key conclusions, is how do you work and operate under those um, kind of conditions. As far as the future for IAPTC, we're currently um, having our next conference in October in Lima, Peru. And one of our key themes will be actually looking at where the future of IAPTC is, um, what we should be doing, and as an international body and association, what are the best things that we can provide for our membership. All the research, and you, know, you can um, look all that up, says to get better outcomes, we need females involved in peacekeeping. Um, and I don't think there's any disagreement with that. The problem as I see it is that a lot of the militaries where a lot of the peacekeepers come from are still very heavily male dominated. And so while the EU, the AU, the UN may have some quotas and some targets, um, their ability or the, the nation's ability to draw the right people through to meet those targets sometimes can be very limited. Um, so in my own situation, we're a really small army. So I had no choice but to go, um, and that's one of the reasons why I've ended up president of IAPTC. I've been on three different UN missions, and for us in New Zealand, it's just normal, and I think when we stop asking the questions, then we've achieved our goal.